Hey, what's going on guys? I'm Dr. Boyce Watkins. Welcome to Three Minutes or Less. Three Minutes or Less is where I give you the Dr. Boyce breakdown on important topics in the world uh, within three minutes or less so you can get back to your busy day. Um, I just read the other day that Jonathan Capehart, who is a uh, well-known journalist, he's one of those guys that's on TV a lot, uh, basically said that, uh, that people need to vote uh, for some Democratic candidate for one major reason. He said, even if the candidate doesn't check off all the things on your list and only gives you half of what you, you're asking for or less, you should still vote for that person because they can do one important thing, get rid of Donald Trump. Um, I understand that logic. Uh, I don't think Donald Trump's the greatest president in the world. I don't think he's actually fit for the Oval Office. But I think that when you look at the, uh, the mistreatment of black people by the Democratic Party over the last 40 years, uh, the negligence, the benign neglect, the fact that the Democratic Party was responsible for mass incarceration, the epidemic that destroyed black families, uh, it was accelerated during the Clinton administration. And then also you consider the fact that um, even today, the Democrats are supporters of the Me Too movement, which is leading to uh, many, many cases of false accusations and, and uh, incarceration of black men uh, who are going to prison for things they did not do with no evidence whatsoever. And when people go to prison, they get raped repeatedly. So you're subjecting black men to rape. Uh, because somebody said that they did something and there was no proof. So there's a lot of reasons why black people have reason to be afraid of the, the Democratic Party, not just because we're not getting what we asked for, but because we're also getting a lot that, that we that we don't, that we didn't talk about, we didn't ask for. We're getting a lot of mistreatment uh, and a lot of persecution that uh, just is a reflection of Jim Crow. So my question is, on this is, you know, should black people vote for a candidate just because they're going to get Donald Trump out of office when that candidate themselves may be just as bad for black people? Black life really hasn't changed that much under the Trump administration versus the Obama administration. Uh, it's all kind of the same. Why? Well, because most of the candidates don't make an impact on black life. So, so in fact, what I would ask, uh, you know, a Democratic Party candidate who says, vote for me, vote for me, because I'll get rid of Trump. I'll get rid of Trump. My question is it's a little bit smarter, but I would probably ask, well, after we get rid of Trump, how are we going to get rid of you? You know, so, you know, let's not assume that Democrats are friends of black people. Uh, not being as big of an enemy as somebody else doesn't necessarily make you a friend. So what we really need are third party candidates. We need a fair system. And I think it's OK to fight for that. But do what you want to do. I'm not telling you what to do. I'm just telling you to think about it. Well, thank you for hanging out with me for three minutes or less. I'm Dr. Boyce Watkins. Make sure you hit the, uh, the subscribe button, the share button and all that good stuff. And also, if you want to learn uh, how to set goals and how to accomplish things in your life and how to be happy, how to be great, how to be successful, I've got a great program called it at blackkeystogreatness.com. That's blackkeystogreatness.com. Have a good day. See you soon. Bye-bye.